Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> Little midday break, mo session before heading back to work. And today we're talking about how to vlog. Now, three weeks ago, talked about why. Last week, talked about what to vlog. This week, talk about how to vlog. And I've decided in my mind, I'm going to have to break this down into probably three separate videos, three separate vlogs, because it's such a big topic, it's out of control. It's so big, and I don't even know how far we'll get into it today, but I'll do my best for you. All right, time to mow. Wait. Tip number one on how to vlog. Always have coffee on hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tip number two. Don't be afraid to get your camera grimy, dirty, and yes, even wet. If it takes it to get the shot, like, listen, you got to set yourself apart from the millions of other people, uh, you know, uploading daily videos to YouTube. There's literally millions of people uploading videos to YouTube every single day. So you got to differentiate yourself somehow. One way is to fight for the shot, get the good shots, and that might require sacrificing the good old camera. So practically speaking, what I do when I arrive at a location is I usually enter into the moment, enjoy the situation, enjoy the coffee shop for, you know, an hour, and then I think about, before I go, I think, okay, I want to spend 10 minutes getting some B-roll shots, or even, honestly, five minutes. That's about all it takes. You don't need much. Um, but before you immerse yourself into the filming, take a second and enjoy the moment in the coffee shop, in the rec center, in the movie theater, in the whatever, wherever you're at, happen to be filming. And then assess the situation and say, okay, I'm going to film these 10 shots for four seconds each, and that's going to be my B roll for that quote unquote scene even though I don't like using that word, but that experience, that life experience that you're going through and that you're then going to share with the world through the YouTube. Because not everybody's vlogging style is gonna be the same. They're gonna be similar, but not the same. So, little micro shots, telling the story, that's what I'm doing with these shots at Nixon's is, you know, I had a pen because I was writing letters. I had earphones because I was listening to the radio. I had, um, you know, that the uh, the leather bag because uh, I needed to carry my laptop in. It's like all these little shots that are B-roll that helps you tell the story. So... Pause, pause, pause the run. All right, getting practical. Take out your notepad. Start, start writing it down, people. How to vlog. Strive for 50 to 80 clips per day that you, you literally hit the start record button and you hit the record button again 
50 times, 50 times at least to get enough B-roll to make the vlogs entertaining, engaging to watch. That is what I have found to be the most effective. So that includes B-roll and talking to the camera. Like right now, we're at about 42 clips for the day and it's only 2 p.m. So I already like feel like we're gonna have plenty of good footage to work with. Does that make sense? So 50 to 80 clips and like, but yesterday's vlog was 40 and up in the mountains, I was hitting 100 vlogs very often, or sorry, 100 clips quite often. So it can vary, but that is the range I have found to be spot on. All right, time to go for a tempo run. Tempo, see you on Strava. If you forget to talk about something that you did on the vlog, do this. Closing out the vlog today. Thanks for sticking with me through, you know, kind of a simple vlog, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the how-to vlog tips. And the last tip of today is look into the camera. It's hard, and you will get better at it over time, but it's not easy to look into the camera when you're communicating with your audience, with your fans, with your YouTube family. So. If you can, whoa, don't fall over, <laughs> and do your best to look right into the lens because it helps people connect with you. I have found that to be effective when watching my old vlogs, but also when watching other YouTubers. So look into that lens and don't be afraid to give the, uh, the stare down because people can connect with eyeballs. It's hard to connect with a cheek, if you know what I mean, all right? So that's the last tip of the day on how to vlog. And the question of the day is, what would you guys like me to talk about next week? I have some ideas around equipment as far as how to vlog. Oh man, we could talk about that topic all year. So that is the question of the day. All right, do you have any ideas? Comment below on, on what you would like me to talk about for the topic being how to actually vlog. And I know today's vlog was a little bit of a conglomerate. Maybe wasn't completely clear, but we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. See you guys tomorrow. How were those ads today? <laughs>